Okay, we took the little liberty of uh, opening the AD Flex 15A. All right, so that's how it looks like. It's a little difficult to open the box. Uh, the box from the back side contains uh, at least eight screws. You gotta have the uh, very long Phillips screwdriver. Let me show you this. This is a very long one. I think it's over four, uh, 14 or m might be 16 inches. All right, so this is the orientation. This is a wood that actually braces the uh, whole box itself. Uh, the plastic is uh, kind of thin. All right. Now, the front side, there is uh, at least one, two, three, four, five, six screws. It's screws, they're, they're mounted here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Or rather here. So there's just six from the front. Uh, let me show you. This is mounted on the front side. You have to be careful. One, two, and four in the bottom. Okay, if you're going to open your 80 flex. So this is the 15 inches new diamond woofer, the two inches horn, and I'm going to show you the back side. All right, so let's turn this around. I kind of find it uh, heavy on the top side because of the uh, three inches compression driver. This is not new diamond. This is uh, the ferret magnet. It's heavy. If you're going to lift the whole uh, face up, you'll feel that the compression driver is really heavy. Unlike the woofer part, it's fairly light because it's, uses, it's using a new dimium. Forgive me, uh, this is quite heavy if you're going to lift that up. So I'm kind of catching my breath here. Alright, so this is how small the magnet is. It's fairly small. It has holes and vents for heat precipitation. The leads aren't uh, spring-loaded, they're just like the, uh, the eyelet type which you just slide it into place. Okay, so let's look at the, the positive. This is the negative side. This is the compression driver. I'm going to pause the video and unmount the actual driver. Okay, we have successfully removed four screws from this metal plate. So there's one, two, three, and one in the other side. All right, so this is big, really big, uh, about the size of a bowl where you're eating. Okay, lift that up. All right. If you notice, the metal plate has these notches where the screws are uh, or rather the, the notches these four notches align to these uh, studs here to hold it into place now I'm going to remove the uh, I think this is aluminum or maybe a brush stainless steel I'm going to remove four screws to actually reveal the uh, bare driver this is where the compression driver sits right on top of it uh, the metal plate goes here so it's aligned by these uh, plastic studs the uh, screws are mounted into uh, the driver okay and it's it fits exactly into this hole where uh, it serves as the actual tweeter for your speaker system all right, now uh, for the new Daimium uh, woofer, it sits right there. It's pretty self-explanatory, nothing special. Yeah, I say AD or acoustic drive speakers are cheaply made when we're talking about materials. So this is cast steel, it's not an aluminum. But the magnet is new Daimium, which makes it sound more powerful and lighter. This is a very light speaker driver in here. I, I think the, they should have made this as um, a new Daimium driver.
screwdriver as well to make the whole thing light. But of course, uh, I'm, I'm thinking the engineers and the company built the speaker system uh, with cheap products, cheaply made materials, but made it sound powerful, clearer, and a lot better. So it's the sound that made this thing, I say, uh, quite a bit of a monster. Plus the digital signal processing technology they have incorporated into uh, the amplifier module. All right, and uh, what else? Yeah, the module have the FIR filters or the fear phase technology, which uh, processes the signal really better. We know what speaker system uses or what other brands uses the uh, fear phase technology. I think it was originally uh, started up and made up by Electro Voice or the AV and then uh, I think RCF also did it. Of course, our current speaker system which is AD Flex or Acoustic Drive. Yeah, uh, there you have it. Nothing so special, nothing too much. I just wanted to see what's inside the uh, actual box of this um, acoustic drive so there's your grill that's the grill right it has these uh, I think these are EVA phones or kind of kind of gasket to seal the whole thing all right I'm going to put it back together thank you for watching my uh, quick video of how the acoustic drive 15a looks like from inside practice and enjoy